Welcome to the 2022 award ceremony for the Power of the Pin Online Circleville District Tournament, which took place on Saturday, January 8th, 2022. Before we begin, I have a few thank yous. I would like to thank Karen Valentine, the coach at Circleville, to, um, for everything she did to ensure that we had a Power of the Pin team this year. I would like to thank Robin at Power of the Pin for the time and commitment she put in to make sure this tournament could occur. I'd like to thank all the students who gave up their Saturday morning to participate. I would like to thank the Circle of City Schools Board for their sponsorship. I would like to thank Andrea Wallace for her willingness to judge and support our writers. And finally, I would like to thank all writing coaches. It has been a difficult past few years and kids need programs like this now more than ever. Thank you for going above and beyond for these kids. Good evening, I am Brooke Paxton, the host school coordinator for the Circleville Tournament. Though we couldn't gather at Circleville Middle School because of the pandemic, we are grateful for their support of the young writers of Power of the Pen. As a nonprofit organization, Power of the Pen depends on generous sponsors to provide funds to operate and staff tournaments and create learning material, materials such as the Book of Winners for Young Writers. Additional support for the 2021-2022 academic year has been provided by Ohio Humanities, the National Endowment for the Humanities, and the Federal American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. We also thank the coaches and judges who made the tournament possible. Coaches, you have been dedicated to helping middle school students develop their own unique creative voice. These students will forever remember the emotionally safe and supportive environment you provided for them as they shared their writing and learned to give and receive feedback. Writers, we are proud of you for being a part of Power of the Pen. You met with your team and practiced for many weeks to prepare for the competition, and you got up early on a Saturday and wrote in three 40-minute rounds on tournament day. You are truly dedicated to becoming the best writer you can be. We are always excited to read your work. Every response to each prompt is different. Every writer brings a unique perspective and their own life experiences to each piece. Your skill as a writer will serve you well in life no matter which path you choose. Your ability to tell a story will help others see the world from many different perspectives today and in the future. Thank you, parents and families, for supporting these young authors as they have worked for many hours to come up with just the right phrases that pull readers into their worlds. For friends and family who are new to Power of the Pen, here's a quick overview of how online district tournaments work. The online district tournament features three 40-minute rounds. In each round, students write a piece based on a prompt that is made available to them when they begin the round. With virtual tournaments, students' writing is emailed to judges who read and score the stories with rank points from 1 to 6, with 1 being the best. Quality points from 100 to 75 are also assigned. Scores are tallied to determine individual and team awards. Schools who participated in the 2022 Circleville Tournament are Circleville Middle School, Dempsey Middle School, Dominion Middle School, Gehanna Middle School East, General Sherman Junior High School, Immaculate Conception School, Licking Heights Middle School, Mount Vernon Middle School, Northridge Middle School, Rushville Middle School, Scioteville Community Middle School, St. Agatha Middle School, St. Vincent de Paul School, St. Peter and Paul School, Thomas Ewing Junior High School, Warren Middle School, Watkins Middle School, and Welsh Hills School. 18 schools participated in the tournament with 80 students writing in the seventh grade and 88 students writing in the eighth grade. The top 12 writers in each grade level are honored with awards. The writers in fourth through 12th place will receive a medallion. 
The third place winner at each grade level will receive a bronze medal. The second place winner, a silver medal, silver medal, and the first place winner, a gold medal. Please be patient with receiving the awards. The awards must be delivered to coaches. We will deliver them as quickly as possible. And now for the individual awards. Seventh grade individual award winners from 12th place through 4th place receive a medallion. In 12th place from Dominion Middle School is Marlo Flowers. In 11th place from Sergoville Middle School is Agatha Search. In 10th place from General Sherman Junior High School is Riley Doty. In 9th place, Watkins Middle School's Megan Keating. In 8th place from Scioteville Community School is Malia Feltner. In 7th place, Rushville Middle School's Morgan Belleville. In 6th place from Welsh Hill School is Arabella Kimbler. In 5th place, another writer from Watkins Middle School is Natasha Shepard. In 4th place, another writer from Rushville Middle School is Audrey Barr. And now, for the top three writers in seventh grade who will receive medals. Coming in third place, Mount Vernon Middle School's Amanda Miserati. In second place, yet another Rushville Middle School writer, Ellen Morgan. And our first place winner, also from Dominion Middle School, goes to Simone Edwards. Congratulations to these outstanding seventh grade writers. Eighth grade individual award winners from 12th place through fourth place receive a medallion. In 12th place from Immaculate Conception School is Amelia Ortlieb. In 11th place from Mount Vernon Middle School is Natasha Jose. In 10th place, also from Immaculate Conception School, is Caitlin Scholl. In 9th place, Rushville Middle School's Kaylin Kaiser. In 8th place from St. Agatha School is Lauren Smeltzer. In 7th place from Watkins Middle School, is Emma Summers. In sixth place, also from St. Agatha School, is Allison Rowland. In fifth place, Dominion Middle School's Salem Mercer Hill. In fourth place, another writer from Dominion Middle School is Oliver Weaver. And now for the top three writers in eighth grade who will receive medals. Coming in third place, a writer from Gehanna Middle School East is Madeline Ohl. In second place, yet another Mount Vernon Middle School writer, Lily Grace. And our first place winner from Dempsey Middle School goes to Shavana Tennedy. Congratulations to these talented eighth grade writers. Students who placed in the top 12 from both grades qualify for the online regional tournament, which will take place on March 5, 2022, with virtual hosts A.S. Davis Middle School. In addition, approximately the top 50% of their riders in the district tournament will qualify for the online regional tournament. We will notify each school of its qualifiers soon after this awards ceremony. The number one stories from each round were reviewed by a committee to select the highest quality individual writing in each round. Those stories received best of round awards. Best of round winners also qualify for the regional tournament. Seventh grade best of round winners are in round one, Arabella Kembler, Welsh Hill School for the story, A Better Ruler. Arabella is coached by Shelley Drum. 
And round two, Chet Kirkland, Circleville Middle School, for the story Framed. Chet is coached by Karen Valentine. In round three, Simone Edwards, Dominion Middle School, for the story The Unicorn. Simone is coached by Matthew Heisel. Eighth grade best of round winners are, in round one, Emma Summers, Watkins Middle School, for the story The Volcano. Emma is coached by Paula Ball. In round two, Madeline Ohl, Dempsey Middle School, for the story Sisters. Madeline is coached by Paitlin Cottle. In round three, Madeline Ohl, Dempsey Middle School, for the story Cold Hearted. Madeline is coached by Paitlin Cottle. Director's Choice Awards are given to writing that, while not selected for best of round, deserve special recognition and also qualify for regional. A Director's Choice Award, award was awarded in 8th grade, round 2, to Aaron Griswold, Warren Middle School, for the story A Monet Mistake. Aaron is coached by Josie Bentz. I also apologize if I mispronounce any names. Next up are the team awards. Overall awards are given to schools for first, second, and third place. Each team will receive a plaque to display in the school. The third place winner in seventh grade from Columbus is Dominion Middle School, coached by Matthew Heisel. The second place winner in seventh grade from Pataskala is Watkins Middle School, coached by Paula Ball. The first place winner in seventh grade from Lancaster is Rushville Middle School, coached by Jody Forsyth. Eighth grade team awards are also given to schools for first, second, and third place. Each team will receive a plaque to display in the school. The third place winner in eighth grade from Batascala is Watkins Middle School, coached by Paula Ball. The second place winner in eighth grade from Mount Vernon is Mount Vernon Middle School, coached by Esther Sadoff. The first place winner in eighth grade from Columbus is Dominion Middle School, coached by Matthew Heisel. Congratulations to our winning schools and to everyone who wrote in the tournament today. Before we conclude, I have a few announcements. First, please be patient regarding the delivery of awards. We will deliver them as soon as possible. Schools will be notified by email of their individual results, including regional qualifiers. We will email student writing, ballots, and instructions for the regional tournament soon after this award ceremony. For news about Power of the Pen, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Finally, we would love to hear from coaches, students, and parents about the impact Power of the Pen has had on your lives. We would also love for you to send us photos of students as they are writing. Use the testimonial form in the right-hand column of the homepage of powerofthepen.org to submit photos. Thank you again for being a part of Power of the Pen. Congratulations to all who wrote in the tournament, and we look forward to seeing many of you at the regional tournament on March 5th. In the meantime, keep writing.